Hey everybody, Chris here. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Repairs. Just a quick short video here of how to replace the flasher bulb on your Ford Edge. This one is a 2007, but it will do a number of years of the same uh, sequence, same way to uh, replace the bulb. So really easy, pretty straightforward. Just need uh, one socket and a little bit of time. So And a new bulb. <laughs> so here it goes. Thanks for watching. I just went into the store to get some stuff. Everything seemed fine. I came out, got my right directional, normal flash rate, left directional, very fast. That means we have a bulb out, more than likely. So we're going to go check the bulbs and see what's going on here. Show you how to replace a flasher bulb on a 2007 Ford Edge. Well, the front is flashing, but it's way too fast. But it's working. Well, the rear one definitely isn't flashing, so we're going to have to replace that bulb that's right in there. So I do have these two sets of bulbs. Uh, this one here, just so you are aware, this is for the reverse light bulb that's above the rear flasher. And this one is your flasher one, 4157. I get just a basic bulb to swap it out. And uh, we have a ratchet and we have a socket. And it's a 5 16 socket that you need for the two bolts on the tail light assembly. You can see the two bolts, one's here and one's here. We're gonna go ahead and remove both of those. They should, hopefully for you, uh, you know, get removed pretty easily. Um, for the most part, besides debris coming down the side of the uh, tailgate here, uh, the lift gate, there's, um, you know, it's pretty covered. So it's not like it's open, uh, you know, to the environment. Like underneath the car where you get bolts that rust and don't want to come loose, these are usually pretty good. So I'm going to pop these off. Still bound in there just a little bit with the on the plastic. That probably should be good. Actually, I don't think that's into the threads anymore. Um, and sometimes you have to pull on this a little bit to pop it off. So you have to work it around a little bit. I might need both of my hands here. There we go. We're gonna. We have to replace that bulb right there so we're going to take this one and pop it loose oh yeah that thing's smoked absolutely cooked i'm um, gonna be careful taking it off it definitely has a lot of nastiness in there this socket looks like it might uh yeah might be going a little bad so let's take it out uh take that out carefully and uh, probably clean this a little bit well, there's the bulb. We just got it out, and man, this thing is fried. Um, <laughs> I sprayed it with a little bit of uh, electrical contact cleaner um, and a little bit of uh, compressed air just to blow out any debris. I could not get it out with my by hand. Um, it was just stuck in there, melted basically. So I lightly pried at it uh, with a little pair of uh, pliers, um, some like uh, 45 degree needle nose, and I uh, was able to get it out. However, it was not without breaking the tab on the opposite side. Um, hopefully, that will uh, the bulb will still stay in. This is the kind of plier that I use to get it out in case you ever come across it. It was pretty easy to uh, remove it with those pliers. However, um, of course, it did break. I think that the tab on the other side, um, which is right here in my hand, it just got so hot you can see how blackened it is it got so hot that uh it probably got really super brittle and it was stuck to the bulb so it just uh came off so we'll put the new one in and hope for the best i think it'll be all right though at least in the meantime uh until i get a new socket so the bulb went in no problem um and it's actually very stable inside here it doesn't seem loose at all although it's missing that little part of the clip so i'm good with that but if you look down inside look at that See that like glob look, almost looks like solder. That is the housing all melted inside too. So this thing definitely got hot when it shorted out. So, all right, we'll uh, install it, put it back in. All right, do I have that correct? Yep, I think so, actually. Yep, there we go. And uh, just reinstall the tail light from here. Now, when you tighten these bolts, um, they're going into like a plastic nut. Okay, so it goes through this housing and into a plastic nut. All you got to do is get them snug and, and tight in there, basically. You don't really need a torque wrench. I don't know what the torque 
value is for it, but you don't really need a torque wrench. You just get them nice and snug in there, you're good. On this side, there's a couple uh, grommets and little pins that you just line up and put into place, and your taillight is good to go. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helped you learn something, uh, how to replace the bulb, how to take off the taillight, or maybe just to find out what kind of bulb goes inside of it. So, thank you for watching. 4157 bulb. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.